Yes. Yes. All right. So, um, wow, well, a lot going on. We're going to take this off. We're going to take this carb out. We're going to put in that Makuni 26 millimeter. When we do that, that means that we're going to bypass the governor. So we're going to take all this linkage off, clean this up. Uh, we're actually going to open it up and take the arm off as well and the gear out from inside. So we're going to have to take the whole engine off. Um, we have a new flywheel right over there, billet, aluminum. So we'll take the full start off, put that on in there. We're going to take this case off and put on some 18 pound valve springs that are sitting over there, uh, I think under that white sticker. And then right next to that is the plastic, clear plastic case that we're going to install instead of this aluminum one. Yes. I, oh, we're going to have to move this gas tank. Well, eventually, because we're getting a better seat. I don't know if we have to move it right now. Might be a good idea to see where we want it to go. With the different seat, I'd like it on the back. And we're gonna cut this pipe down so that it doesn't exit so far out. Although I wanna put the carb on first and see because with the adapter for that carb, the manifold is gonna push it out just about as far as this damn thing is coming out now anyway. So it might yeah, not but would it burn me? Huh? Wouldn't the reason we cut that off so it doesn't like burn? Because the breather won't burn us. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But this is actually pushed so far out now that your leg is over here. When we pull this in back here, depending on where it stops, I mean, if it terminates right here, that means that this isn't going to have this heat shield on it. So if you do make contact now, it won't be at a place that has a heat shield. It'll be on the metal. So yeah. we're increasing the chances that you would burn I mean, yourself. I'm going to make way. contact when I uh, get off. Okay. And get off and swing your leg around. And you catch this. Yeah. Okay, well then, never mind. Uh, we did buy a top plate over there. We're not going to install it because we don't need it for the Makuni. We'll put that on the go-kart over there because it doesn't have a Makuni. It's just got like a Predator 212 clone. We also have those cool, you might have to pick that up, mm. uh, chain guards. Oh. <laughs> we'll put those, one of those on each. Um, then right here, we're going to take these off and we're going to do those red handlebars, grips. And then right next to that is the extended risers that we're going to put on because this is really low and it kind of hits one's knee when you turn. Mm -hmm. I think that does it for today, right? Well, we're going to modify this a little bit. Um, We'll use the same line and the same breather, but it doesn't need to be all that. And when we put the clear case on there, I don't know, we'll see what we do with that. We'll clean that up. Oh, okay. and we're going to drill this out. It's a great gas tank, definitely fire resistant. I can tell you yes, that firsthand. Definitely. Um, you might see some scorch marks on it. Good stuff. Uh, but we're going to drill a hole in the top of this and attach an extra vent that we have, vent tube that we have lying around. Because this does not come ported. There's no hole there for the pressure to release. And unfortunately, we just drilled one in there so we can keep going. And if you have a full tank and you get to go and it tends to spray in one's face. I believe that's it for now. What am I forgetting? I think that's all. Okay. This is before. All right. Yep. Before and then after.